uh, we are using the chart satellite imagery. So here you can see, I can simply search on the Google chart data. Here you can see, this is a rainfall estimate from rain of satellite. Okay, you can see. It is a global data set. We can easily use this data set for any region to download the data, rainfall data, and then use it. So in this time, I try to show you that how we can easily download this data using Google Earth Engine platform and then use it in our web software and then make the uh, rainfall map for your study area. For doing this thing, I simply search here. Charts. Charts. Here you can say I can get the two types of data, daily and painted. Okay. So mainly daily data set provide you the every single day data. And painted will it show the five days interval. Okay. So in this time I use at the painted data set. So just I simply use at the painted import this data set. It imported as an image collection. Okay. And this image collection, I need your study area. I already import your study boundary shape file in here. Here you can see this study area. I simply click on here in this time it imported. Okay. I simply put this name as a ROI. You can put any name. Okay. So now I simply import my data set about the charts and also imported the boundary shape file where I need this uh, data. So I simply take a variable. Suppose I put the variable name is that rainfall. Okay. And call this image collection. And use at the select function. In this time, I just select this band. Mainly, I want to work for the precipitation. Okay. Simply copy this band and paste here this band. And further, I simply put my time period. Suppose when I need this image, what's my start date and what's my end date? I simply put here the start date. Suppose 2023, uh, any time period, suppose 1st January from, uh, I put this map for year of 2023, December, uh, December 31. Suppose this is my time period. I need this data between this time period. And I need the data between this time period. Suppose average data, I put at the mean. And further, it clip with my study area, which is ROI. So now I simply export this data. So use here uh, export image to drive, and all of those things I stored it in this variable. Okay. So just I simply uh, put here all of those argument one by one. So here you can see the first argument is that image. I want to download the rainfall image. So just I simply copy this variable and paste here. Description, you can put anything. I simply put the description is that uh, rainfall. Folder, I put the folder name is that, uh, suppose, uh, plant. File name prefix, not need, I simply move that. Uh, region, mainly it's your boundary, which is ROI. A scale, a scale is mainly your resolution of your satellite image in this time the chart satellite image resolution is you can see 5566 meters i simply copy 60 copy and then paste it this is my scale about that so now further i simply remove all of those things not need so simply remove then curly bracket int and also curly bracket start Further click to the run in this time you can see what tax step will be running. Click on here and download the rainfall data set. So now click the run. So now it downloading the precipitation or rainfall data set. You can see it is starting to the downloading. 
then further we can easily use it in arc map software and make the rainfall map this is very uh, helpful to identify for flood susceptibility region it working take one minute or two minutes for downloading the okay it's done you can see okay so less than one minute we need so click on here because it's a small region not big so then open in drive so further here you can see the rainfall okay so thus simply download this rainfall and further just click on here you can see rainfall data i simply copy this file and then paste in my data folder where i put all of this data uh, where is it yeah. so important slides yeah i simply paste in here so now further i simply import the data in here so I simply remove this type of things in this type of need. So remove that. Also remove it. Then go to this map view. Okay, and uh, it's not needed. I simply go to the properties and I simply put the uh, non. Okay. Apply and okay. Then I can get the blank. Okay. So just I simply import my rainfall data. In this time, we can get this type of data you can see and further i just simply you can see this is my study area okay so this is my study area and this is my rainfall data so just simply click on here i simply put here the hollow and then uh, increase so this is my study area okay so this is my study area and this is my tip format okay so in this time i just need to cliff with my study area then this type of block will be removed from here so how i can do that so very easy simply go to the windows you can see the image analysis click on the image analysis and select the rainfall tip image okay and after doing this click on here you can see the lasso tool lasso select by lasso and select this study area okay and further click on here you can see clip so now you can see it created the another layer so I uncheck it, uh, uncheck it, it create the another layer where we can get only for my study area rainfall map. Okay, so it's the rainfall map for my study area. So now I can easily present. So basically, in this time for this study area, I can get the high rainfall is the 8.9 millimeter average and 4.0 millimeter. So I just simply click on here and go to the properties. And further, and further click on here, you can see symbology. And I simply select the color ramp. Suppose just uh, for the high precipitation, I show the blue color. And low precipitation shows suppose, this type of color, okay? Then apply and okay. So now I can easily identify for this map this type of blue color pixel identify the high precipitation or high rainfall region and this type of color identify the low precipitation and this data show for the result year of 2023 okay we can easily represent the rainfall map from here or you can easily uh, make the different types of color ramp for your study area suppose you know, the different types of study color ramp you can select it here so, so is you better for you simply select you can see so in this time okay i need to info so click on here just invert so now we can get okay so this type of reason identify about the high uh precipitation this type of reason show the low precipitation so further if you want you just simply uh show the result suppose uh click the click the layout view or if you want you can also make the classification because all of those uh, uh result we are just make the five plus classified 
yes and further you can see total five plus and you can use there the different types of color plated suppose i use here so so just if not better for that i want to show the high color as a blue okay so blue and low this type of color okay apply and okay so now we can get this type of things here you can see so mainly uh this type of color seven uh from 7.7 .7 to 8.9 this region it show the high rainfall okay and mainly high rainfall is indicating the high flood susceptibility region and this type of region identify about that low rainfall low rainfall region indicating the low flood susceptibility mapping region okay so now we are just make the classified total five class so further we are also use this map to make the flood subsidy mapping 